Start by opening Easy Duplicate Finder. When you open the application, you'll be presented with Easy Duplicate Finder Tech Tips. X out of this or click on Get Started. Now first of all, click on the Settings tab. You'll see a number of options here and I recommend selecting Skip Zero Size Files, Skip Temporary Files, and Scan Subdirectories. You may select any other options that you wish, and then click OK. Next, select the location that you would like to search for duplicate files. You can decide to scan one or more folders or entire hard drives. Decide which folders you would like to search by putting these into the Include to Scan box or you can choose to add folders to the Exclude from Scan area. It's easy to add files and folders either by using the Add button or by dragging and dropping a folder into the appropriate area. Next, you need to define which types of files you're looking for. Click the File Types button. If you want to remove photo images, click the File Types button and check the appropriate box or if you want to search all files, check the Any File box and then click OK. You can also narrow your search by setting the file minimum and maximum size limits. This is optional, but it will give you more control over your folder scans. Selecting file types and file size limits will speed up your scan. Now once you're happy with the selections, click Start to begin the scan. When the scan is complete, you'll get a summary of total number of files scanned, the number of original files, and the number of duplicates found. The report shows each group in alternating blue and white bands. A file may have one or more duplicates. All duplicates are associated together in a single group by default. To resolve the duplicates, you can manually select files individually. You can use the Assistant to retain the newest, oldest, or original files, or you can also do this by using the Select Duplicates button. For example, I've chosen to keep the oldest of the duplicates. Once you have the files selected, you can choose to rename these files, move them to a different folder, or delete them entirely. I've chosen to move them to a different folder. If I want to delete them at a later date, I can easily do that. The folder is called Moved Files, then click Get Started. Please note, if you have a lot of files and if they are large, this may take a little time. Just be patient and wait for the program to complete its task. All the duplicates that have been resolved will now be highlighted in red and are crossed out to show which ones have been processed and which ones remain unchanged. The duplicates have been moved to the new folder and the job is done. If you realize that you have removed or deleted the wrong files, you can undo and retrieve as long as it's within the same session. To remove this list, simply right-click and select Clean the list of resolved duplicates. Follow the steps in this video to start organizing your computer. Go on, give it a try!